We're working to build society. We're working to feed people. We're stuck in the rat race. We're stuck in a nine to five. And I don't want to be stuck anymore. You're spending 71% of your time at work in a single week. I can't talk about how much I make and how much I save. And I can't talk about the money aspects because society doesn't want us speaking on how much we make. We didn't talk about money. We didn't talk about finances. We didn't talk about how much you paid, how much something costed. They told me, don't worry about it. We don't teach it in school and homes. If we don't do any of that, how are we going to stick someone out in the world at 18 years old and expect them to make it financially stable? How are we going to expect them to know what to do? How are they going to know what to even expect? How much things cost? How much the world costs? If we're not talking about finances in our own homes, I will not be working at 9 to 5 for the rest of my life. I want to do so much more, and you should too. Everyone has dreams in this world. If you work, you can save money. You can make money. You can learn. You can decide to go to school or you can decide to use YouTube. Look up what specifically you want to learn. YouTube is such a great platform. You can be passionate about anything and everything you want. It's going to take time and time to build up your foundation. But once you got that foundation and you're putting out your passion with quality, you will grow. Whether you want to work on cars, you want to do beauty, if you want to teach people, you don't want to work a nine to five. You want to work what you want because you want to have the time to do what you want to do. You want to have the time to work when you want to work. You want to be able to control everything. You want to be your own boss. Don't make the excuse. It's not the perfect time. If you're waiting for the perfect time, I promise you, you will be waiting for the rest of your life. Nothing in this world will ever be perfect. You always have hardships and good times. You just gotta decide. You gotta take that step forward. Step out of your comfort zone. That's what is keeping everybody where they are. I need my nine to five to work. I need it, that's my excuse. Once I am able to live off of YouTube, I won't need my nine to five anymore. I wanna entertain people. I wanna show people what you can do. You can enjoy life. You can enjoy every second of life. If you decide to go out of your comfort zone, do things that you want to do, you dread going to work, why would anybody want to do that? You're making your own life harder. If you just step out of your comfort zone, put in as much effort as you put in that nine to five into whatever it is you want to do, you can make it work. It'll just take time. Just like with a job, you start off here. You have to work years to get to here and here and here to make more money, to have a higher job title, to be able to do more. Everybody can make this work. You just have to be willing to work your ass off, put in the effort and work through those hard times. If you're Susie, don't follow Johnny because you see him being more successful doing something. Don't follow other people's passion. If you're not passionate about it, why would you be wasting your time doing it? Do something that you absolutely love. You have a burning, passion for something that you can see yourself doing every single day. I can't see myself working at nine to five for the rest of my life. I work and work and work day to day right now. And I, that's something I don't want to be doing. I want to be able to do what I want, make way more money and be able to spend my time more freely. I want to be able to work around my own schedule. You can work whenever you want. You follow your passion, you follow your dream. You can make everything work. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. You're always going to have hard times, good times. Everybody wants more time. Everybody needs more time. Can't go back in time. We can't gain more time. Why wake up every single day and dread going to your nine to five? If you're making $30,000 a year right now and you can't manage to save, you can't manage to hardly pay bills, you're not making good decisions. If you can't manage making $30,000 a year, you definitely won't be able to manage making $100,000. Just because you make more does not mean you're not going to spend more. The more you make, the more you spend. Every single dollar that you make will flow right out of the window, just like knowledge flowing through one ear, right out the other. Be able to take a step back and look. See from other people's perspective. They see something that you don't see. Don't have tunnel vision. Don't see, I'm gonna do this and this only. Look at those around you. Hear what they have to say. Whether smart, dumb, book smart, street smart, it doesn't matter. Everybody can see something completely different from one another and that's what makes humans special. We all think differently. Don't just float above water as you're going downstream. Walk on water. Do what you want to do. Don't just coach, take control of your life. Step out of your comfort zone. 
work and work and work to build a foundation. Five years ago, I started YouTube and it was shitty. My content was horrible, my thumbnails and titles were horrible. I was so awkward looking in the camera, staring for five minutes. I was bored just looking at it. I never saw how I could improve my videos. It was my way or the highway, and that's the wrong way. Each video I put out does differently than the other. The click-through rate and the view duration are what matter the most in a video. Click through rate, you gotta have a good thumbnail, a good title. You gotta get people to click on the video. Get people to look at the video and be like, oh, I'm interested. Boom, click on it. View duration is also so important. You can't have a video with 5,000 views and only 30 second average view duration. That means people don't care about your video, they're bored, they're clicking off. You gotta be able to hold their attention. You gotta be able to build that foundation. You're not gonna be able to build that foundation if you're only getting views and no view duration. As you get better, more and more will come together. You gotta look and you gotta evaluate. What are you doing wrong? How can you make this video better? How can you hook people and grab people more for longer? Get people to click on because of the topic of the video. People will click away because maybe the video is boring, maybe the lighting's bad, film's bad, quality's bad, you're a boring person, boring personality, you don't know how to talk to a camera. Whatever it may be, there's so many factors that keep people into watching a video. You look at Mr. Beast, he gets hundreds of millions of views. His videos are high energy. They're super crazy topics. Also interested in how he's doing it. He's got such a great personality. He's able to keep people entertained, keep people coming back, and keep people looking forward to the next videos. He's trying to make the best videos possible, and that's exactly what he does. That's why he's on top. They should be obsessed with making their passion come to reality. Why would anybody not want that for themselves? Remember this, anybody can be successful, but not everybody is willing to bust their ass to do it.